Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Kirby 64. We are going to be checking out the extras in game and I'm actually going to use my file from childhood to do this. So let's start out with the options and we're just going to go in order. So we have the mini games, which are so much fun, you guys. This is like my favorite part of Kirby 64. I'm not even joking. And probably the part of this game I've played the most, especially with my sisters, with friends growing up. We used to get out this game and play it, just me and my friends, just to play the mini games because they're so much fun. So there are three different options. We have 100 yard hop, a bumper crop bump, and checkerboard chase. Now they're all super fun. We're gonna start with, uh, Oh my god, I almost said checkerboard hop, like I'm just making up names at this point. We're gonna start with the 100 yard hop, and I'm gonna be Waddle Dee because he's my favorite. And there are four different levels, and I'm gonna show off an easy mode. So you press A to jump once, B to jump twice. Just kidding, reverse that. A to jump over two, B to jump over one, so you have to kind of time things appropriately. And I love that these mini games, like, just randomly choose your opponents if they're computer players and they can be different color variants of who you're playing as. So we have three Waddle Dees on here in fun colors. So I think that's pretty cool that the game does that. So if all of you and your, if all four of you and your theoretical friends want to be Kirby, you can, you can all be the same character. You don't have to be all different characters. Although that's an option too. There are four different characters in the game, so pretty fun. But anyway, I'm going to show off all of these modes because so much fun. So easy mode's probably going to take the longest because everybody kind of sucks. <laughs> Sorry guys, but you're not, you're not, oh man, King DDD just being the worst sucks to suck, dude. All right. And then I love this little like end sequence and you get a star whenever you win. So you can play games to a certain number of stars. Oh, whoops, that's not what I want to do. I want to play a different difficulty. So we're going to do the same thing. I'll be Kirby this time. We've got two Adelines. Do normal. So yeah, it changes every time. There are different layouts for each intensity. So I think that's really, really cool. I love that there's different aesthetics and, you know, it makes for a unique experience no matter what the difficulty is. So it's not like, oh, it's just the same brown path, but the CPUs are more difficult. Like the path itself is more difficult. Like now there are banana peels and you can see how, how wonderful I actually am at this game. <laughs> I've lost all my skill in, in the past years. Okay. I couldn't help that that frog was there. There was no winning. There was no winning there. I still won though. So normal mode. It's pretty normal. Pretty grassy green normal. I don't really know what else I could say about this. Whoa, check out the winner again. All right, we're gonna play another game. We're gonna play the same one again. This time on hard mode. I'll be King DDD. Oh, I wanna be purple King DDD. That's not fair. And now we've got kind of like this red clay path. So check that out. Wow. Uh, King DDD jumps very strangely, <laughs> but he puts like too much effort into his jumps. Speaking of which, I have like a 3DS game and now there are little like, you know, stick pits or whatever you want to call those. But I have this 3DS game that was just like a downloadable title and it's actually a rhythm game. It's like King DDD's Drums or something like that. I can't even remember the actual name of it for sure. Um, but it was like $7 in the eShop downloaded it super cute super fun but you basically just like beat king ddd up in these uh, on these drums like he just gets all beat up all the time and i got third so whoops so you can tell they're getting better and then we're gonna play probably what i'm gonna get last in because again i'm out of practice i'm gonna be adeline i'm gonna play intense so look at how cute this is now we're like on a river so we gotta be super skilled. And I used to always play as Waddle Dee, cause again, he's my favorite. Um, my sister 
who I often call Madame Yoshi, used to always be Kirby. That's like her main in Smash. She's always been a big Kirby fan. And then my sister, Madame Toadstool, would always play as Adeline. So, and we thought Adeline was a boy, and I still say he. Like, even knowing the name, like, I don't think we knew how to say it. That or we just didn't care, because it looks like a boy to me. What? Ugh. Oh, Koopa, how could you do? So yeah, we just didn't know how to say it, and we just thought, oh, that looks like a boy, I don't know. And then we'd like, obviously we'd rotate around, but like, yeah, unfortunately no one had like, King DDD as their main. So, that's kind of sad for him, but... Alright, let's go ahead and go back to oh, all the Waddle Dees. Or, oh my god, all the King DDDs. They're all DDD. They're all Ds, okay? So this one you have to pick the most fruit. And you have to boot your enemies out of the way, and they're very bad booters currently. And you can kind of boot them out of the way at the right moment and work the system in your favor. This gets way tougher in other versions. So, what's this called? Bumper crop or whatever? <laughs> oh, bumper crop. Who knows? I don't know. I don't really know the actual name of this, because I never really pay attention, but it's so much fun and, you know, kind of rage-inducing when you're playing with your big friendos. But it's it's really cute. So anyway, I, I remember just playing these games for seriously, like hours with my sisters and with my friends and we would get on here just to play these mini games because they're just so well done, so well put together and you just, you gotta love them. So, um, and I think because this one is, you know, it's not like the whole path changes, we're kind of in like this one area for the majority of this game. I'll just show off the designs of the other intensities rather than playing it three more times. The 100 yard hop, it's so short and you kind of need to see the game in action to see like what the deal is. Bum, 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 bum. I love how you bounce really fast with the music at the end. Best score 41, dang. That's pretty on point. All right, so bumper crop bump. Let's do a different intensity. So many Kirby's. So this is what normal mode looks like. It's more of an autumn scenescape. And I think the fruits, like, they spawn where you can't just see them readily. Like, see how there's they're not all there at once, like, in the beginning. And there are also bombs now, so you definitely don't want to catch the bombs or it'll reset your score. So that's kind of the idea behind normal mode. Um, it's a little bit harder to track where the fruit are in the beginning and you gotta avoid bombs. So let's play another game. Let's view the other difficulties. I'm just gonna be Kirby again for the sake of this. This is my favorite one because it's all pink. It's like cherry blossom, springtime. You have the bombs in here. Um, I want to say the fruit falls faster in each mode as well as you can probably tell. I feel like this is the mode I played the most with my friends because we just liked how it looked and we like the pace of it better. So yeah, this is hard mode. I haven't seen any bombs yet though. Like I've seen no bombs. What the heck? I swear they exist in this mode. And then this does the same thing like you saw in easy mode. There's a bomb. Okay. This does the same thing like in easy mode where at the very end of the stage you get um, all the fruit falling even more quickly. Okay, this is the mo- No, this one's great. Okay, I forgot about this one. Oh, I feel like we didn't play this one as much though, just because of, it was intense and like we usually had like one computer player, but yeah, you catch gems. How cute is that? You catch gems in this mode? It's on a rainbow cloud? Like, come on, you, you cannot get better than that. And, that's not, I mean, King DDD just like blew up. Did it show? Oh yeah, it's not as obvious. It, the bombs aren't as obvious. It, you have to like look for that little stick. And I got I got blown up. <laughs> okay, uh, let's go ahead and do. Um, we'll we'll give King DDD some love. We're gonna do. This one is so much fun. 
Oh my god, I think I played this one the most with my friends. Okay, this one is so much fun. What is- I, I didn't- I did not look at the name of this one. I can't even remember the name of it, but... Yeah, you have to, like, make these paths to try and get your opponents to fall off. Make little color paths. These would be such good, like, Mario Party adapted minigames. There was a whole- there was a whole era on the N64 where, like... The games you had also had a minigame mode. Like, obviously Mario Party's all about the minigames, but like, this game has a minigame mode. All the Pokemon Stadium games had minigame modes. Like, it was just fabulous. Like, you could get on there and not really play the main aspect of the game and still have so much fun. And you could like, it enabled you to have a reason to play with other people. I mean, the N64 was marketed as a four player console. So, I mean, it's it was nice that every single game what? They were both idiots standing on the outside? What the heck? Every single game, for the most part, had like a four-player mode to accommodate that, so that was pretty cool. And uh, every time a player is eliminated in that game, the border disappears, so like it gets- the stage gets smaller and smaller. Checkerboard Chase, that's the name of this. Alright, we'll show DDD love one more time and then we'll do- to Adeline's. I feel like we've seen Waddle Dee the least, even though he's my favorite. Whoops. So now it's purple. Because normal is purple. I like that normal is purple. Ah! I almost walked off the edge and then Kirby got me. Don't you do it! No, don't you do! Okay. Come on. I just love the design of these games. Fine. I guess I'll fall off. Okay, why am I playing this all the way? I don't- it, you guys have seen it, like, uh, there's... Not really much of a difference there, except for the players. Wow, everybody's copying me now? What the heck? Okay, now we have Maroon. <laughs> Probably, like, so fast if I play- I'll play the whole mode of Intense. I was like, which one am I? Oh yeah, I'm the Christmas colors. I'm the green and- green and red one. Okay. Come on, come on, come on! No! What are you doing? You're not even attacking anybody up there! Dang it, but you somehow got me still! Dumb. Alright, last but not least. Uh, we're gonna see Waddle Dee for this last one, because he's my fave bay. We're gonna do intense, and it's all spacey now, and we're like on a computer. I think it's so cool how the intense modes are nothing like the other modes. You don't have to unlock these either, I don't think. Um, at least I don't think you do. I'll go on my other file and see, but I'm pretty sure that all modes are available from the get-go, unless you have to win once in each mode, which if, if that's the case, that's like all you have to do to unlock new modes, so that's pretty cool. Alright, well let's go ahead and quit, and let me see if it shows on here. If we're able to play... Oh yeah, we can only play easy mode on here. Okay. I was like, there was a reason I went to my old file, but yeah, all you have to do is win in each mode in order to unlock the next mode. So yeah, that's why I wanted to show that off on here. And like, there was a reason for this. Aha, that's what it was. But it's not hard to unlock them. You don't have to like, you know, there's no point system. It's not like you have to unlock them by getting through different stages of the game or you have to get so many points and then blah, blah, blah. Like there's nothing like that. So it's a really nice just easy way of unlocking them. And they're so much fun to play. I absolutely love them. So the next episode will actually be the final episode of this project and it's just gonna be a short little extras mode, um, continued. I just wanted to showcase the mini games on their own and then do the rest next time. So we'll see um, the rest of the options in my next and final video. So this has been more Let's Play Kirby 64. I've been Madame Wario, and I will see you next time. Peace out, pimps.